It's time for your statewide Alabama weather cast. Here's an afternoon look at the statewide weather forecast from the Alabama Weather Network. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and here is the composite radar look this afternoon showing showers and thunderstorms ahead of uh, an upper level disturbance moving to the west now from western Tennessee, northwestern Mississippi, all the way back into Texas. You can see them marching to the east. They'll move into Alabama after midnight tonight. We do have a tornado watch for northwestern Louisiana and much of the eastern part of Texas. There have even been a couple of tornado warnings, including a confirmed tornado warning in the past 30 minutes here near the woodlands north of the Houston area. Across Alabama, we've got cloudiness moving into the uh, northern part of Alabama. Some scattered clouds over the southeastern part of Alabama and over the coastal section but most everybody enjoying a mostly sunny day. Here are some of those clouds from our beautiful sky cam at uh, Florence atop the Renaissance Tower. We pretty much ended the heating of the day there, 70 degrees. Uh, the air very dry though. You can see from that 48 degree dew point, it's going to take a little while to moisten up the atmosphere. 73 in Birmingham with a good supply of sunshine, a dew point of 50. Uh, moving on to Montgomery where we have total sunshine, 75 degrees, a very warm day. The dew point uh, up to 69, though, you can see that moisture beginning to come up from the south. Now at Point Clear, a dreamy look out on Mobile Bay. Uh, these uh, readings not quite correct, but uh, just a tranquil look on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay this uh, afternoon. Highs across the state so far have been in the 70s and low 80s. Some folks will approach record highs. We'll have to check the record books before this day is over once again. Uh, which has been a recent trend. The SPC does have uh, a tiny bit of the western part of Alabama outlooked uh, for severe weather after midnight tonight, but it's going to be really hard to get severe thunderstorms in the uh, situation that we're going to be faced with. We'll be watching the situation very carefully. They do have a slight risk, level two out of five, back to the west uh, through parts of Mississippi into Louisiana and southern Arkansas. Now, uh, just after 11 today, they did upgrade uh, the day two outlook uh, to a slight risk, level two out of five, but our thinking has not changed. We don't really think uh, that there is uh, a significant increase to the threat tomorrow. Just a couple of isolated severe storms, gusty winds are the main threat, maybe some hail. Can't rule out an isolated tornado, but we'll watch out for that. Overnight tonight, we'll fall back into the uh, 50s north, 60s to the south. Just some uh, rain running through the uh, northern part of the state here about 1030. Uh, a few rumbles of thunder uh, that will be uh, associated with it. Nothing on the strong to severe side. By 5 a.m. that uh, rain will be pushing through the Tennessee Valley. Uh, everything south of uh, US 278 uh, should be pretty calm. We may have a few showers down through Walker, Tuscaloosa, maybe into Sumter, Green, and Hale counties but we don't expect those storms to uh, get out of hand. Temperatures by morning, uh, generally in the 50s and 60s. Now, as we go through the day tomorrow, we'll be watching to see if the atmosphere can destabilize. Do we get any breaks in the clouds? With uh, plenty of moisture around by that time, temperatures rising into the 70s, we could see a decent amount of instability. And if it does develop, showers and thunderstorms that do get going have uh, a small chance of becoming severe. Gusty winds, uh, some uh, small reports of hail uh, could be realized, and we can't rule out an isolated tornado. Here about 7.30, they're uh, generally near and south of the I-20 corridor. We'll be watching these storms over South Alabama uh, near and after midnight as well. It all will push into Georgia ahead of a cold front. Here by 5 a.m., we should have most everything out of the state. Uh, winds will be shifting around to the northwest. Temperatures will be falling into the 50s behind the front. And on Wednesday, your highs will look like this, 50s over the northern half of Alabama, 60s over the central part of the state, with 70s over south Alabama. Then for Thanksgiving morning, you'll wake up to a, a chilly day with uh, temperatures in the uh, freezing range uh, over the Tennessee Valley with a few reports to freezing all the way to the Florida border. Most everyone will be in the 30s except right near the coast. Now, for, uh, for Thursday afternoon, Thanksgiving Day, 40s will be common over the uh, Tennessee Valley with 50s over the southern half of the state. And then for Friday morning as you're getting ready for Black Friday sales, make sure that you bundle up because we'll be near freezing up north with uh, several readings near freezing through the entire state. But 30s will be common 
all across Alabama. High temperatures on Friday will be in the 40s and 50s statewide, but high pressure will be in charge. Now, the good news is, uh, so far today, we've cleared up those delays that were at Dallas earlier. Uh, so far this afternoon, we have nothing on the board to worry about. That's going to change with time. We're going to watch this low moving through the Ohio Valley by tomorrow morning. It'll be pushing this cold front into Alabama, pushing those showers and thunderstorms along with it. We'll deal with those during the day tomorrow. That front will move through the state and on out of here with clearing skies for your Wednesday. High pressure builds in for Thursday, giving us a nice day. And uh, Black Friday looks nice, except for maybe some increasing clouds. High temperatures uh, in the 50s across the entire area. And then our attention is going to turn to the Iron Bowl by Saturday. By Saturday evening, we'll be watching uh, all this uh, rain and thunderstorm activity to the west of the state. But uh, on the plains in Auburn, it appears uh, for all intents and purposes that we will be dry. Temperature is falling out of the 50s into the 40s during the game, which is not bad football weather for Alabama in November, that's for sure. This uh, activity will push into the state on Sunday. The uh, most recent model run here of the European indicating maybe a little less rain, which is not good. We really could use the rain. In fact, the uh, WPC seven day through next Sunday, still pretty optimistic. Uh, two to two and a half inches of rain near and north of I-20 with uh, generally uh, one and a quarter to one and three quarters of an inch uh, over the central part of the state with uh, amounts coming up just a little bit over the south and southeastern part. We'll take anything we can get at this point. Your seven day forecast for the northern half of Alabama looks like this. We'll fall back to below normal temperatures by the end of the week with freezing conditions expected uh, in many areas Thursday and Friday mornings perhaps in some areas also Saturday morning. And then for South Alabama, we'll see uh, temperatures also falling back uh, by Thursday and uh, they'll stay uh, below normal through Saturday, but coming back up just a bit by Sunday as that next storm system moves into the area. That's your statewide forecast here on the Alabama Weather Network.